times for all it seems to have slowed down a little bit oh i figured i'd uh give you a little idea what uh what flatbedding looks like in the rain and uh yeah that's what it looks like right there i uh i am soaked my boots are full of water my, my, my shirt and sweatshirt and underwear and everything else is soaked right now so uh but you know what it's warm down here in texas so it is what it is you know i'll get changed here in a minute after we're done uh anyways <clears throat> down in um oh man where the heck am i uh beaumont texas picking up for a john deere going up pencil or a john deere excavator going up to pennsylvania and uh since it quit raining i figured i'd show you how wet i am and show you this load real quick oh there's our baby right there this thing oh, she is a diamond in the rough let me tell you one track doesn't work the bucket doesn't work apparently this is a repo and the, the guys that had it must have known it was going to get repoed and they uh they just they stopped caring about it a long time ago so she's pretty beat but guy here at the, the shop I, I didn't catch his name it was pouring down rain we really didn't have a chance to talk much but guy here at the at this equipment yard where i picked up at he, what a <laughs> watching him put this thing up on with one track working in the pouring down rain and there's nothing good about this like nothing good guy told me that one track work he said can you operate i said yeah and he said one track work and i'm like nah you know what you better find somebody with a little bit more experience than me to do that so uh 
this guy came out, man, when he put it on, <laughs> it was slow going, but uh, kudos to him. Like that was, uh, that was, I don't know that I'd been able to do that with one track. Like it was just, uh, just pretty crazy. So anyways, I'll show you securement on a load real quick. This one, first thing you'll notice, I'm sure, is that I did this a little bit different than normal. Are you guessing what's different? That's right, it's backwards. Backwards from what I normally do. Um, the reason I did that is because to get the weight shifted to the back like I need it, um, we, we weren't able to tuck the arm in because the bucket's broke. So the control's on the bucket, so the bucket won't tuck all the way up in. So we couldn't get it to tuck, which would have maybe over height, uh, which I'm not permitted for, but I am permitted for the weight. So uh, that w we went this way. It's the first time I ever hauled one like this. We'll see how it goes. Um, weight's pretty evenly distributed, so uh, or distributed. So I think I think we're going to be all right. It'll be interested to hit scale and see what happens. But there she is, right there. Securement on this thing. I got eight chains total, weighs 53,000 pounds. So I got to secure for at least 27 and a half thousand or 26 and a half thousand. I got to secure, have enough securement to cover that 26 and a half thousand pounds. So I did um, one chain over here, hooked right to the track, coming right to the edge of the trailer. I threw this chain, the, the extra part of this chain across to the other side did the same thing on the other side and then I hooked a full chain here going over top of the bucket there which you know you got to have one securement device on the bucket so I threw that over top of the bucket secured to the other side did the same thing with this one I took it over top so it's X across the bucket so I got two chains going across the bucket but those are also holding the main body of the load so I kind of got a, a double whammy there uh, a little bit extra bang for my buck um, back here, I did kind of the same thing. I did my one chain coming right off the track, right to the trailer, did that on both sides. And then I hooked uh, another chain onto the edge of the track, pulling all the way across the other way. So this, this one's pulling this way, this one's pulling this way. The reason I did that, I don't trust these tracks. Uh, they were moving around a lot when the guy was putting them on and I don't trust them to, to hold it going one way. So obviously it's loaded backwards, so we don't need to worry about the the um, turbo saver on it. Wind's gonna be going the right way. So here's what she looks like from the back. That's it, man. I'm hearing thunder. If you guys can't hear it in the background there, uh, I'm hearing thunder. It looks like we're about to start this uh, another round of this storm. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb up in my truck, get changed, and uh, dry out the inside of the truck and, and get on the road. I think my buck, my boots are just about done for this week. Uh, looks like I'll be wearing my shoes for the rest of the week. So uh, I will uh, talk to y'all soon. Hope everybody has a great day.